Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Blue version. I forgot what game this was for a second. I think I almost said Leaf Green. Curse you breaking the system. Anyways, uh, we got our third badge from Lieutenant Surge, the ultimate lightning American. And in this episode we are going to be moving on. Just grab my bicycle. Huzzah! Alright, so, uh, the, where we're going to get to the next city, well, technically, it's not a city, it's about a town. We need to go to Lavender Town next, and we have to get through a cave. Yeah, you know my feelings on caves. But, we're gonna have repels this time, so that will be a lot better. Oh boy, repel plus cave equals easy. But, another thing, we are going to need another HM to get through there. Remember when Brock told us we could use Flash? You don't? Well anyways, when we beat Brock, he told us we could use Flash outside of battle before we even knew what it was. So, what we have to do here, I'm going to get a Pokemon buddy to use Cut. And... I'm going to start cutting out trainer battles again. I realize you don't need to see that crap. It's annoying enough. So let's uh, get walk right out front there. And, uh, let's do this. You have Pokemon with you? You're mine! Alright then. Yeah, there's a few trainers. Uh, ooh! There's a thing down here. Let's see. TM30. Let's see what that is. What could be inside? And, it's... Ooh, teleport! You know what? Hell, I'm going to teach that to Marshall. It's, um... What teleport does, it allows you to pretty much run away without fail from a random battle, but it'll also let you return to the last Pokemon Center you've been at. So, dig plus teleport, we can pretty much get to a Pokemon Center anytime we want. I'll keep it there until we find a better move. It's just useful right now, just in case we need to get to a Pokemon Center quick. Until we get fly, then we'll become obsolete. Anyways, next guy. Whoa, great! I was bored. Eh? Eh? What? Guac is evolving? Yes! Oh boy, that's fun. Yes, Guac is evolving from a uh, Diglett to a Doug Trio. Guac evolved into Doug Trio. All right, let's check out uh, Guac's stats now that he's a Doug Trio. 52 attack, 38 defense, still kind of lacking. His speed is a whopping 71. Special, 47. Eh, he's not going to need special much. But I'm mostly concerned with attack and speed uh, for Guac. Might as well look at our other Pokemon while we're here. As a comparison. Uh, Marshall, I'm mostly concerned with his special, which is 56. Not bad. Uh, especially considering he's level 24. And Steve... Steed. Seed. 61 special, but he's not fully evolved yet. All of my other Pokemon, excluding Buddy, are all fully evolved. But, well, uh, I still have more Pokemon to catch. So I only have three of my uh, six. So, I believe this guy's a bird keeper, so Guac will have a disadvantage. Because flying is good against ground. Ground can't even hit flying, so I'd have to use Scratch, which is a terrible attack. He only has pretty much one good attack, I mean, anyways. There he is, in all his Doug trio -y glory. I decided to show off Guac, uh, Guac now that he's Doug Trio, just so you can see his back sprite. And we're going to be ending this battle soon. I really do wish that Dig had more PP. That's one of its biggest disadvantages, because 10 actually isn't a lot. Um, I think I got... Uh, Marshall down up to 25. Oh, um, I kind Well, here's a little story for... Uh, <laughs> better save the stories for after the trainer battles. Ooh, actually, I think this is the first time we've seen a Beedrill. It's the fully evolved form of Weedle. 
and it's pretty mean. Flying poison type of... No, I think it's a poison bug type. I'm not totally sure. It's, e it's two of the three poison bug and flying. I, I think it's bug poison. I'm not totally sure. Oh, and a second bee drill. Yeah, the thing about bug Pokemon, they evolve at very low levels. Um, but their stats are not all that great. They're good for starting out, but you're probably going to want to replace them after a while. Unless they've got a good secondary thing. Like, you, usually poison's not a, not a great thing. It's usually just something as a secondary move, so you can't be poisoned, and... Well, it doesn't have that many weaknesses. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know all that much about poison. Anyways, I believe this guy's the bug bird guy. Nope, oh, another bug trainer. Huzzah. Huh, Venonat. I don't think we've seen this before. This is... Venonat is a bug poison type. Not bad. If, if you need a bug type, Venonat's not a bad choice. It evolves into a Venomoth, which is a poison flying type. Or, it might be a bug poison type. I'm not totally sure about what it is. Anyways, um, what I was going to tell you was, uh, trainers, 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 huzzah! Okay, um, I did get a new editing software, but I won't be using it. I, I got, uh, Sony Vegas Pro 11, but it, well, it takes way too long to render. I'm just going to stick with video pad, so there's going to still be those annoying black bars on the sides of my videos. But honestly, um, I'm okay with those black bars being there, because I don't exactly want to stretch out my video. Like, let me elaborate a little bit. When you play on the game, a Game Boy uh, Color game on a Game Boy Advance, uh, if you press the L and R buttons, you can choose to stretch the video out across the entire screen. This always annoyed me. I. I didn't like it being all stretched out because, like, you would move faster going left to right than up and down, and that always annoyed me. And I wouldn't want my videos to be that way. I would like them to be a, the original way you would see them on a Game Boy, the original size. That's how I want them to be. So if there's black bars and just nothingness on the side, I'm okay with that. So instead of taking a stupid amount of time to render, I'm going to have my uh, things with black bars. Uh, they're not that annoying, I think. You s you're still getting all the good content in the middle. You just ha don't have it at the full thing. I don't really want my thing stretched out. I'm sorry if this bugs you, but... Anyways. I probably shouldn't have healed yet. Um... That's Rock Cave. That's what we need to go through to get to the next place. Gonna take out this last real quickly. Yeah, Sony Vegas usually wants to, to render for like two hours for like a 15 minute video. That's just ridiculous. I wouldn't get anything done. Maybe like 10 minutes tops for like a 20 minute video on with a uh, video pad to render. I just... I'm just not gonna deal with that. Sure, it's it's cooler and a lot better. I'd be able to stretch things out. I'd be able to add sidebars. Well, if I had sidebars, and I'd be able to do all kinds of things. But I'm sticking with video pad. Sorry, but that's just the way it goes. And I'm trying to keep videos short. So this is me, Thrasho Two, saying, "Be cool, save often, and don't do anything I wouldn't."